Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another parking lot test. We are going to see if there's any differences in the bird's eye view again. So we are on software FSD beta 11.3.6. Last time I've done this video, it was on version 10 of FSD beta. And uh, for regarding the, the software update, we are still on the software version of 2022.28. So we are coming up to a new version 11. Point four soon of FSD beta which is going to be on the 2023 branch so we'll see how if there's any differences that come up then again but till then let's see if there's any differences right now with FSD version 11 all right so what I'm gonna do is a normal park and as usual with my last videos I'm gonna do a nose in and a back back in drive as well so my camera in the back is clean as you folks can see over here so it's very good representation of what is really around us. Um, let me let me make this uh, full screen. If I do reverse, it'll pop up the screen behind us. And let's go ahead and reverse right now. And then we'll try and find another parking lot. So it does show a car next to us on the left. And it shows the car behind us as well in the visualization. So a very good representation so far. hit that D and we'll turn in over here then you can see folks coming out of the car next to us around four people and they're coming up and in and out and uh, not very good representation of where they are actually around the car so regardless of that let's see if we can if we can see any other differences so yeah, we still can't see the concrete columns in the underground parking represented on the screen. So that's a shame. We still see the cones. We are getting the auto park uh, indicator. So that's a good sign. Uh, FSD version 10 used to be very, very um, muted or it doesn't really show up, I guess. So we're coming up to a stop sign. You can see the stop sign as well represented. Garbage is still represented as a bin. Let's try and do a turn over here and see if we can do a nose in parking right next to this SUV. Column right next to it is not represented. Ultrasonic sensors are popping into action right now. And this is actually a, a quite a quite a tight spot. So yeah, I'm going to reverse back out actually. Now, folks have asked me before if my uh, parking sensors don't beep. It's because I just disabled them. They're too loud and uh, I'm, I'm used to parking just in my garage most of the time. So I don't really have any issues. So let's see if we can do a nose and dra parking over here and see how close we can get to the car. Yeah, so this is pretty much a pretty good indicator of the car next to us does show that it's actually almost touching jitter is still there the car is not represented in the right position so yeah still same issues to be honest I don't really see a lot of differences and let's try the last one which is going to be a reverse parking so let's try in the same spot over here hit the reverse and here we have the the camera back in and the visual over here so we are not that far from that car but we are right now oh and you can see the visual is not really representing a hundred percent of what it actually is in reality the car is shaded in dark gray which is the usual as we have seen before a lot of jittering as we get closer the ultrasonic sensors are aligned with Tesla vision over here Let's see how close we can get. Yeah, 35, not too bad, okay. So here we go. Let's try now the park assist and see if we can get a indicator for the park assist and see how it performs. Because I haven't used it in such a long time and it'll be nice to see if there's any changes. So coming up over here, let's see if it pops up, should pop up anytime here. And nope, doesn't look like it. Let's try over here. 
There's a gap right over here between these two cars. Let's see if it does pop up. Nope. Right, let's go ahead and try on this side over here too. Fifth, sixth attempt. Nothing. That's very odd. All right, I guess let's try and go out uh, in the outside parking away from the underground one and see if uh, it does work over there. I have a feeling it's because of these center columns that it's uh, actually causing it not to do it. Okay, we've got a, par a few parking spots over here. Let's see if that these are gonna work. Driving super slow here. Nothing really popping up over here, to be honest. So it does seem like the feature is still unavailable, which is very odd because I saw it just pop in instantly. So I thought uh, it was for sure back in business. Nothing popping up around Park Assist. So apologies, folks. I guess the Park Assist does not really work. Um, but uh, we've seen the differences in the nose-in and backup uh, parking with uh, a 360 view. So I uh, hope you folks like this video. And uh, please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. Have a nice one.